Hi, I'm Lisa. I live in the beautiful New Zealand. This is Back to Bread, Back to Jesus. I want to share my encounters with God so you can also walk with the presence of Jesus every day. I have prophetic giftings and my heart is for you to encounter God and experience breakthrough in your life through these videos. I feel called to speak life and bring people to the foot of the cross. So welcome to Back to Bread. Hi guys, welcome to Back to Bread. I'm Lisa and I'm just so glad that you're joining me today and that you're sacrificing your time to listen to me talk about Jesus because that is what this is all about. Back to Bread is Back to Jesus. And yeah, my heart is just for people to know Jesus, to encounter him, to experience him and to come to know God in a greater way, in a new way, in a way where when you know, you know, you know, like that kind of knowing. So yeah, I just want to help people to see God through my stories, through my encounters. I get a lot of dreams and visions. I get words from God. So um, I'm yeah, like when he speaks to me, he, he speaks to me in a soft voice in my head. So um, the same voice that we have that when we're going to the supermarket and we're like thinking to ourselves, oh, that would be a good idea or something like that. It's that voice, but it's not me. It's from God because the spirit of the living God lives in me. And it's a very different, it's a very direct um, kind of conversation, very direct statement or... Um, yeah, a word from God. It's it's not my mind thinking something. It's literally just come boom. And so I'm going to talk about some of those that I get. Um, yeah, I just want people to be able to see him, to encounter him. And that's what this is all about. I'm just like a regular person. Um, I'm actually, I think God's kind of set this up in a funny way. I'm actually on six, day six of my uh, food fast. So I started fasting on Saturday and it is Wednesday today so um, I'm, I'm into the the day six and so I, I wanted to fast because a fast from food is like a sacrifice and so it's like an offering to God saying hey God I'm, I'm offering you something here because I believe that through my sacrifice um, and I do praise and worship, worship, I put worship songs on, I do all of that sort of stuff, I pray to him, but fasting is like another level of prayer, it's like you're, you're consecrating yourself to God, you're going, hey, I'm, I'm focused on you, God, I want to, you know, partner with you to achieve a miracle for the kingdom, and so I've been praying for people who need healing, restoration, recovery, all sorts of things and so fasting is my way of doing that in a really I guess in like a serious way that's how I would look at it and so that's what I've been doing and I started on Saturday Saturday night I actually went to my cupboard and I went to grab a cracker out and God said in the the soft voice Holy Spirit spoke to me and said don't do it and I thought whoa okay and I just felt that conviction in my in my stomach you know to go oh no I'm not going to do that so um, I put the cracker back and I haven't had any food since so um, about half an hour after that I had a text from somebody who said that their family member had had a significant um, health issue and that I just knew that is God going hey if you fast if you continue to fast you're going to see some success here you're going to see miracles you're going to see signs and wonders and just breakthrough so I just believe for breakthrough for everybody who's watching this as well. And I wanted to um, I wanted to really quickly pray before I read some of the Bible. So yeah, God, I just ask that you open the eyes of the hearts of everybody who is watching right now. Open their eyes and just give them that spiritual awakening. He woke me about 5 a.m. Um, a couple of months ago with like this trumpet blast. It was like the sound of trumpets and these words, spiritual awakening. And God, I ask that you just, you encounter these people who are watching with that same spiritual awakening that you woke me with. God, wake up your people. Thank you, God, that you just want to encounter your people in the same way every single day in the small things and the big things. Yeah, God, just do a new thing in their lives. 
I know that there are a lot of people that, you know, it's been a couple of wild years with, um, you know, everything going on in the world. Even now there's a lot of things going on. And so a lot of people might be feeling like anxiety, stress, uh, financial stress, that sort of thing, um, mental health issues, all sorts of stuff that's like on the back of everything that we've kind of gone through and are going through now. And so, yeah, I just um, I just wanted to play a, pray a blessing over you, over your finances, over your health, over your mental health, over situations that you might be... Um, that you might find yourself in that you wouldn't have found yourself in um, if the last couple of years hadn't happened in the way that they did. So God, I just ask that you bless the people who are watching this right now and you just cause a shift in their situation for the better. Thank you, God, that you just make all things new and that you are causing things to turn for them. This is a turning point and that you make things more positive. From this moment forward and that they start to see the little things that you're doing in their lives and that when they look to you when they seek your face you come closer to them so yeah he he showed me a vision in january actually of um, he was sitting on the throne in heaven with his right hand um just resting on the on the side of his chair and i saw him he was holding like a feather pen a huge feather pen and uh he had like these pages in front of him where a lot of them had like x-rays. I knew they were like medical records. They were x-rays. They were notes from the doctors. They were um, things that had been written about people, which, um, you know, words can have a certain amount of power over people. And that's, that's what I think that he was breaking in that vision. So he grabbed all of those things and he said, this is what people thought 2022 was meant to be like. And I knew it was like diagnoses of things, it was medical things, it was health related. Um, and he picked up all of those pieces of paper and he threw them away. And it was like, boom, I'm drawing a new thing. And so he got these new um, blank pieces of paper and I, I watched him as he wrote. And he wrote, new thing, new thing, new thing. And so I just declare a new thing over you right now, over your life, new things. God, do a new thing to every single person who is watching right now. Transform their lives into a completely new thing. Transform them like you transformed me because I am a completely different person to the person I was six months ago. I barely recognize myself. Um, I would not have normally um, been doing this or starting this, but God, I feel God has called me to do this, um, to speak to people, to speak, to share his heart for you. And I can just feel his heart on that right now. Thank you, God, that you just want relationship with your people. You just want to connect with them and yeah, in a new way. So yeah, he, his love like abounds for us. It is so big. It is so great. We could never know how great God's love for us is. And I just want to help to share that with you guys. So I speak life to every single person who's watching this today. I speak life to you. Spiritual and physical life. And this is, this is a powerful change that can happen in your life when you realize that the living power of God, the living spirit, of God can live inside of you and so the Spirit of God lives inside of me the Holy Spirit and we would not receive this if it wasn't for Jesus so it is about going to Jesus he is the bread of life so if we didn't have him we wouldn't have the Holy Spirit we're baptized in the Holy Spirit and he comes upon us lives in us and we have the same spirit that Jesus had in him that raised him from the dead that gives life to our bodies and that's pretty powerful dunamis power that's what that's all about and so that is that is life that is resurrection life that is the power to change every cell in your body to a healthy living thing and so I just want to help to share that with you guys it is just so powerful the knowledge of God knowing who he is knowing who the what the will of the father is as well for our lives that we have life that we have life abundantly that we are healthy, all of those sorts of things, knowing who he is, but also knowing who we are in Christ, that we are the righteousness of Christ, that we can call on him 
and anything we ask of him, we have in his name. So knowing those things, I'm just going to do my best to, to speak to you guys about Jesus and, and how I know him. Because like I said, I'm, I'm just a normal person and um, I just want to help share in, in some way about how Jesus is the bread of life. And so I thought I would read just out of the Bible. This is my Bible from when I was like 14, so it's a bit wrecked, but it is still good to go. So I'm in John 6, and this is the Living Bible Translation, but my favorite is New King James uh, Version. So I'm just going to read from so chapter 6, verse 28. And this is Jesus talking to some people um, in Capernaum. So they replied, what should we do to satisfy God? Jesus told them, this is the will of God, that you believe in the one he has sent. So this is Jesus he's talking about. They replied, you must show us more miracles if you want us to believe you are the Messiah. Give us free bread every day, like our fathers had while they journeyed through the wilderness. As the scriptures say, Moses gave them bread from heaven. Jesus said, Moses didn't give it to them. My father did. And so he's talking about God in heaven. God the Father. And now he offers you true bread from heaven. The true bread is a person. The one sent by God from heaven and he gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread every day of our lives. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. No one coming to me will ever be hungry again. Those believing in me will never thirst. So that's a pretty powerful uh, statement. And I mean, I can testify to myself, to my own life. I mean, I've done a six day fast. Usually if I do a fast by day one or two, I am just like hunting down the fridge or the cupboards trying to find some food. You know, like look out, I'm coming for some food. I'm hangry by that stage. But this is day six. And because I went, God, help me do this. I am not hungry. I am just focused on him. I am focused on the fact that I am, I'm believing for miracles, signs and wonders for you guys. And so I'm going to pray soon about that too. Um, so yeah, further down in uh, verse 47, it says, How earnestly I tell you this, and this is Jesus speaking again, anyone who believes in me already has eternal life. So this is him saying, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in me, you have eternal life. So simply believing and speaking out, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me. I believe that. Then I have eternal life. Then that's what he's saying. You can just simply believe. So yes, I am the bread of life. When your fathers in the wilderness ate bread from the skies, they all died. But the bread from heaven gives eternal life to everyone who eats it. I am that living bread that came down out of heaven. Anyone eating this bread shall live forever. This bread is my flesh given to redeem humanity. So he's saying, I'm redeeming you. So if you've ever felt like you are the last person who deserves any sort of... Um, I don't know, value, recognition, if you don't feel valuable yourself, he is saying, I redeemed you. I am redeeming you. Jesus literally came to die on the cross for every single person's guilt and sin because everybody has sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But because of Jesus, we are redeemed. We are saved, set free, delivered, healed by Jesus' stripes. So that means when he was... Um, when his body was ripped by them, um, we were healed. We were healed then. So he claimed a victory for us, for our healing. Anything we are believing for, any miracle we're believing for, any healing in our bodies, any breakthrough, that happened on the cross. He saved us then. So we need to have that mindset of going, actually, I was saved. I already have this victory. This victory is in my hands. And so it's just so powerful listening to and reading through this. 
If you feel like this video has blessed you in any way, feel free to subscribe, share with somebody who you think it might be helpful for, and check out our website in the description below.